Good one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Guys, unbelievable day. It's fall, obviously. We're cold. And I think we unlocked the puzzle. This is a pig caught on the Nico. Nico. Nico Ned rig. A sneaky little Ned rig bait that you're going to want to take a look at because the energy level just got up there. Boom. That's a heavy fish there. But here's the deal. I don't even know what color this is, but it's a pretty cool color. You know what color this is, Eric? No, I don't. Oh. Well, we're going to try to catch a few more of these, talk about the bait. That's all coming up. It's really small. Today was an off day. I Conditions were not man. setting up for us. We struggled for season, the better folks, half of the day. And so when I caught that big fish, we started to get excited. Man, we actually were able to put together a pretty good bag of fish today. Ooh. But I love throwing a Ned Rig, and I throw all the standard Ned Rigs that a lot of you throw. But I've been experimenting with the Nico, the Zaza Super Ned. That color was actually called Lunar. And it's kind of like a, uh, it's a really unique color. They actually make a bunch of great colors. Eclipse, just a standard green pumpkin. It's a little bit thicker, wider bait than other Ned Rigs. And it's extremely effective when you want to show those fish something different. If you're fishing a body of water where everybody's throwing the standard Ned Rigs, I encourage you to pick these up and give them a try. I am thoroughly impressed with them. And they hold up just as well, if not better, than some of the other Ned Rig products that are on the market. they get bigger hopefully don't mind me casting there Another Nico Ned in the boat. Good job, Travis. I think you found him. Yeah. We could go salmon fishing again tonight. Nico Ned. Pretty cool on that tail. Yeah, son. shallow. Mm. Maybe you figure something out here. Good one. Maybe you figure something out here. Oh, shallow. That's not a bad Nico Ned fish. So we moved a little shallower with these Neds and uh, just popped another decent fish. Just digging. Just digging. We'll dig on over here. Dig on over here. Dig on over here. Nice. There's a little sneaky way to flip them in without breaking the rod. How and do you do that? You just got to be good it, like me. Well, yeah. You got to be good like that. I did switch the green pumpkin. Got a great green pumpkin color as well. And a uh, nice little fatty. Look where he was. Mm -hmm. Right in the hoe. Oh! Eric with the book up. Let me get out of your way, sir. 
Hey, man, get out of your way. We uh, ooh, that's, ooh, a, that's good a good one. one. We're on spot lock and we're casting to this bank here, down current, downstream. Let me get around because I think he's gonna get into po ho. lost that fish. Weird. You got your winter gloves on today. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, that's how you lose the fish. I know it is. I'm protecting my, um, salmon injury on the, hey, so I finally, that's a nice fish. That's a nice one. I finally got a good one in, man. Wow. Very cool. We went, yeah, with that little orange tail, man, and cool. wow, that is a fat one. Nice. Man. Another good one. Another good one. Another good one. So we're, we're obviously, we're fishing some current, shallow, scattered rock and grass. Right now we're in six, seven, eight feet of water. And we're just throwing, you want to throw to the, uh, the clean spots. So any bare spot you see, if you look around, you can see the, the sand, um, places where the grass is not grown. It's not thick. There's some thick grass here, and that's where we're we're having some problems because we uh, we don't have a no good visual. No sun today. No sun today to know where to grow until you get kind of up on it. Right at the top of the mouth. Oh, there we go. Ned hook for it. So listen, at the um, in the description of this video, there should be a code. If you're interested in picking these up, uh, I think the code Smallmouth Crush 10, and you can uh, save 10% on your order on the Nico website. It's just kind of a. It's like a. It's food grade medical plastic. Yeah. It's so a lot of guys that fish net rigs, and you guys know I love the Z-Man TRD, and this is pretty much the same type of material. It's very durable. You're not going to uh, be going through a lot of baits just like the Z-Man plastic. You can catch fish after fish on it, which is kind of cool. It's pretty buoyant, so it does float. Yep. Float well, high buoyancy. We experimented with a drop shot today. And it was suspended. And it just suspended. Perfectly. About two feet of, above a couple big smallmouth head. Yep. And they didn't want to bite it. No. In fact, they didn't bite any Nothing. drop shot bait. What the hey heck? There, What's guy. up with the seagulls? Hey, seagull. What are you doing? So here's a couple scenarios that I can see the Nico Ned working or why you should try it. For one, it's going to... It's a little fatter. It's now. a little fatter. It's a total different design. I mean, it's still a straight three-inch thick worm, right? Yeah. But definitely a meatier profile. It's I a little say. bit meatier, yes. And I feel like if you're fishing a pressured place where these fish have seen Ned Rig after Ned Rig after Ned Rig, you might want to just give this a try. Very unique colors. I'll say Absolutely. That. And uh, and see if it helps you catch a few more fish. I'm certainly impressed with it. They have my approval. What do you got, grass? Yep. All right, put, lift them poles up. Let's keep going. I'm gonna try to find a few more fish here. Another good one. Another good one. Another good one on the Nico Ned. You got one. Double time. Oh, I lost him. Oh, man, that would have been so cool. Dang it. 
Start. No, I didn't. You got gone. grass on yours. He's Don't. On, dude. No. I look at the replay. Uh, yeah, you watch my rod go. Go on, no, 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 no. So set up, guys. Uh, seven foot medium light. I think you can get away with the medium as well. I'm using the one six size. What's this head called, Eric? I don't know. It's the Pro Shrooms, the, I think. Yeah, Z-Man Pro Shrooms, one six. And then I got five pound Cortland braid, high vis yellow, to an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And he's not that big, he just thinks he is. He's powerful fish in his turn. Powerful, powerful. I mean, look at this thing. Pulling, man, pulling. He's hooked right at the top of the mouth, which is a good spot. It worked. Not as big as I thought. Go ball. Daily double. Nico, Ned, let's cross lines and celebrate. <laughs> Cheers, Get Travis. Out of here. <laughs> Just a fall fatty. Fall fatties. But yeah, listen, it does, seriously, they hold up. They hold up cast after cast after fish after fish. Fish after fish. Even little fish. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to rig the Nico. Um, hey, step back a little. There's plenty of room. Okay, let's uh, take two. Like, take right, two. Right up, just sit right here and then just kind of lean into it. Sit on the in the cockpit here. Just one more step back. There. See what I mean? Okay, guys. <laughs> this is the uh, rigging tip section for the Nico baits. And this is the Super Ned. It's the Zaza Super Ned, by the way. Here's the packaging. Take a look, green pumpkin. Uh, as described before, it's a little bit fatter than the Z-Man product, but it's got all the stretch and durability. This is medical grade technology. You could actually eat this and it wouldn't hurt you. So if you're worried about phthalates, which is a chemical they use, to make a lot of plastic baits, you won't have to worry about touching this one. So to rig it, you gotta have it straight. So basically, on this particular one, in this one-sixth Z-Man Pro Shrooms head, I want that hook point to come out right before the egg sac. So let me show you. Be confident when you're rigging it. You wanna get it in one shot. So I'm gonna try to do that in one shot. Push it in, come out right before that egg sac. Hopefully we've got it down and straight in one take. And that's looking pretty darn good. So it has a keeper on the bottom of the hook. So once you push it up onto the head, uh, there's a keeper on the base of it. What you want to do is push it forward and then push it backwards with your thumb. So I'm making that motion back and forward. So it locks the bait in. No super glue needed. And there you go, man. Straight as a whistle. So let's tie it on and get back out there and see if we can get another double with Travis. We gotta do a raffle for the Nico. I totally yeah. forgot. Let's wrap that Nico up. Let's wrap it up, man. It got late on us real quick. Ooh. I was like, we gotta go. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, last fish catch of the night because why not, right? You caught a nice six pounder. And uh, decent bag, 25 pounds today. But Nico did put some good fish in the boat. And Nico, was it Zaza? It was a Zaza. Zaza. And, um, Five okay. fifteen. Who cares? Grab the damn fish. <laughs> what? Who cares? I care. Yeah. It's a five fifteen. It's almost six. It's actually. I can't give. Let it. me see. I. I can't. Six. I can't. Six one. Six zero. Oh. I can't give it to six you. Six zero, oh, man. Six pounder. Fine. Here. Six one. Take it. Okay. If you're interested in checking out the Nico 
uh, all the Nico baits, the lineup of baits. Uh, of course, the real shot is where I would start. They do have a selection of Nico products there. You can use my code SmallmouthCrush15. That's 15% off your first order at the real shot, which is pretty cool. And they got all kinds of stuff, so you want to check them out. Also, of course, NicoBaits.com. Check in the description below for all the codes to help you guys save a little cash. One six ounce Pro Shroom, Pro Shroom. Z Man head. Mm -hmm. Also available at the TRS, right? It can be. It can be. There you go. And know. use the code, man. There you go. <laughs> good day, man. And as always, until next time. We'll see you on the water. Hey, good day today, yes. man. We caught a six at the end and about 25 and a half pound bag. Yeah. Yeah, wow, man. 25. Travis, 25. Travis starts it out with a good five and a half pounder, man. I'll finish with a six. I'll take it. We got to go. Okay. We got to go. <laughs>